Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jay. We live on an 18 acre homestead. We heat with wood in the outdoor boiler fashion. We don't burn technically camp wood, but today I have a wood splitting trick video that may make your life easier. So without further ado, we're gonna try this together. I just made it, I swear, right hand on the Bible, or this would be my left hand. Left hand on the Bible, I have not tried this. So yeah, let's go ahead and show you what we made. Well, actually, let me show you the issue first and see if what I made works because I think it's gonna make wood splitting a lot easier. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, it. folks, welcome to the homestead here. So you can see, for those of you maybe just joining us, there's our outdoor boiler over there. It's a central boiler, 6048 or 6048 or 604 and eight, whatever it is. A lot of people are offended, not really offended. Um, a lot of people correct me when I say it, but it's a central boiler, 6048 outdoor. We're boiling, here we are, we're splitting wood. This is our money rack. If you're just joining us, we just split 138 pieces of camp wood pine. And I said to myself, I want to try to make wood splitting easier. So this is our county line 25 ton log splitter. Um, let's let me show you the cycle rate of it, and uh, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna show you something that may help us out. We have. Okay, so that is a 14.81 cycle rate from all the way out to all the way in. Now let me show you what I built and see if it'll help. Me. Okay, so this wood splitter here has a maximum of 25 inches it can split. That's maximum, that's from tip to a little um, uh, bumper here, nipple, whatever you want to call it. This is a 16 inch round. So let me show you what I came up with and what I think it'll help. So if we put our round here, that's 16 inches, right? We are left with this gap here. This is roughly an eight and a half inch gap here. The problem is, is if once we start our wood splitter, we're gonna push this log all the way down here, and this wood splitter has to travel an extra, we'll call it eight and almost, yeah, almost nine inches, this wood splitter head has to travel before it actually splits the log. Now, I don't know about you, but like I just showed you, it's got a 14 minute cycle rate. So 14 minutes divided by two, or 14 seconds divided by two, that would be seven seconds down, seven seconds back. So this machine stock takes seven seconds to go 25 inches and seven seconds to come back. So what I made is, and let me show you. So we're gonna pretend we have all perfect firewood. We're gonna slide our 16 inch round here and this is what we came up with right here. This block of wood. Now let me reposition you guys and let me show you. Let me show you this. This isn't that elaborate to make. Two four by fours and a little shim here. Put it in there. That saves that ram, that, that 10 seconds of cycle time, 33% you will save of time. So if you're- Okay folks, so these are gonna be our experimental rounds. Let's get this out of the way. We have two logs here, they're the same diameter. They were literally the same log. I just cut them in half. So again, we're gonna split one without the block and we're gonna split the other one with the block, see if it's any quicker. So let's do uh, without the block first, do a little time lapse. We'll start a timer and it should be pretty easy to see. So let's go ahead and get started. The timer is gonna start as soon as I hit the ram to come out. Now we got the block in, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna uh, 
run the machine at the same RPM. As soon as we hit this ram, we'll start the timer. Oh, I shouldn't have done that because it was idling. So it works out even better. So let's restart the machine and we're gonna restart our timer the minute we hit that ram. And then the minute it resets, we're gonna split it four ways. We'll see the difference. So 29 seconds is the time to beat. Okay, so let's wrap up here. So again, showing our timer, keeping all things transparent. 20 seconds, 21 seconds um, with the block, 30 seconds without it. So we're gonna call it, we saved 10 seconds um, by using this block here. Again, that saves, that's saving us that travel time. So that's actually pretty cool. So again, this isn't that hard to make. This is a um, two by 10 that I ripped down. Uh, a couple four by fours here that I also ripped fits right in the groove here and this is 16 inch pieces with the um, it's an inch wiggle room so we saved 10 seconds of uh, run time for four rounds so that's awesome so in our last video we split 24 rounds so let's pretend we save 10 seconds every round so 24 times 10 that's two minutes and 40 seconds we saved that's a pretty significant time savings. 30 seconds to split. I don't want to confuse you now, so let me start over. 30 seconds for the county line to split around four ways. With this block here, we took it down to 20, 20 seconds, 20, 21 seconds. Um, so that's a 33% savings on time. That's a pretty good savings. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So again, we split. Actually, this this can be we can burn this right now. That's already well seasoned. I don't want to mix it. So, just to wrap up, we saved time. Let me show you this. This isn't that elaborate to make. Two four by fours and a little shim here. Put it in there. That saves that ram that that ten seconds of cycle time. Thirty three percent you will save of time. So if you're splitting wood for sixty minutes you're cutting that down to 40 minutes. That's awesome. So you're welcome. Hopefully you watched this whole video. Hopefully this made sense. Um, yeah, needless to say, I think we're gonna continue doing that. If I can cut my wood splitting time down by 33%, that's an absolute win in my book. That's more money, quote unquote, in my pocket. Um, that's the difference between an hour and 40 minutes. So, and then over the course of, you know, let's say you spend 10 hours splitting nonstop, you know, what's 33%? Call it three hours. Saving three hours, that's pretty good. So I like it. I cut it a little short on the block so I, I have an inch wiggle room because not every round. I don't split camp wood often, but when I do, I want to save time. So hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think. This is some, uh, this is a pretty neat hack to save uh, roughly 33%. Split wood um, one third faster or whatever. I wish it was half the speed, but. We can't get that lucky. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. As always, another great video. Appreciate you tuning in. Love the support. Hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment. If you've done this before, great. If you just saw this, even better. So um, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think, and we will see you out in the woods.